The Rock and Review is on the road at the Opry, and we're catching up with the incredible, uh, you know, musician, producer, you name it, Jeff Cook from the fabled band Alabama. And we also have Corey Lee Barker, a great author and songwriter. And you guys were both involved in Why Not Me, which is an album which you, you worked with William Shatner on, Jeff, and it was recorded at the castle. No, not at the castle. It was at my, my studio on the property of the castle. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, it's so great to have you both on here. You know, and, and Jeff, obviously I've been a fan of yours for so many years, and I also told you before we started the interview that I blamed you for the reason that I bought that heavy PV Hydra double neck. I've got the first one. <laughs> I bet you do. Well, I gotta, I gotta ask you, how did you end up working with William Shatner on this new album? And I'll tell you what, musically, it's amazing. You've got Neil McCoy on here, Cash Creek, Freeform. It's like you know, it, it, it's a you know, home free. It's a great album, and it's really interesting to hear uh, to hear William Shatner doing more of the spoken word with with such great music and such great songwriting. What you said. Yeah. <laughs> well, how did, this, how did this come together? Well, to a mutual friend. We, we've known each other for a bunch of years, more than I care to talk about. But uh, to a mutual friend, it was brought up, well, why don't you, you know, he does what he does, and you do what you do. Put it together, yeah. do what it sounds like. And, and so uh, I understand that, that William Shatner stayed for four days uh, at the Cook Studio to make this happen. Cook Castle. <laughs> ah, exactly, exactly, the castle, yeah. Uh, yeah, he came in at like 12.30 one night, and I, I got this alien that stands here with a little serving tray, <laughs> and I, I taped, uh, typed up a letter welcoming, welcoming him to the Cook Castle. Right. And he just get, flew in from Germany, and he was not remembered, I don't think. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing, and it's, it's great, you know, listening to the album also, to where uh, the one song, Beam Me Up, you know, I assume there was like a Star Trek reference, and I know you're a hard, huge, you know, Star Trek fan, but it's actually related to Jim Beam. Yeah. Yeah, and so, now, now Corey, I've got to talk with you, it's like, you wrote a number of the songs on here, how did this come together for you? You have a huge uh, body of work with uh, 600 songs, obviously your music has been played on television, on Hallmark, with all these different things, and you got a book. Well, at least two people read it, so I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> I, I know I want well. a copy, <laughs> but how did you get involved in this project also? Uh, Brian uh, from Heartland Breakers told me what was going on, and of course, what kid doesn't dream of you know, having a song by anybody in Alabama and, <laughs> and writing a song for anybody that was on a major sci-fi TV show. Like right. Star Trek. It, was, it was a dream come true on both parts. And so I just, he said, what do you got? So I started, he, you know, whatever you got, send it to me. So I started sending this, that, 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 that. I don't know how many I sent. Wow. And he, you know, picked the ones he thought might be appropriate and shot yeah. it to them. And then they narrowed it down to the ones. And What did you think about it when you got to hear the music? Because I, I was talking with my producer. It's like the music and the harmonies on this album are great. And, and hearing William Shatner doing spoken word with it and, and singing it, it's like, it, it really works. I don't know how you dream about that <laughs> as, a, as a kid. And then uh, another fun thing about it was my daughter, uh, Home Free, was her favorite band as well. Wow. So not only was it really cool for me, it was cool for my daughter. And then, of course, you add Neil to the mix, who I've right. always loved. Yes. Uh, it just, I don't know how it gets a whole lot better than that. And now coming to the Opry to hear it on stage. I mean, what I, a great experience. I owe a lot to these guys, what they can do. Well, and I'll tell you what, and you're great songwriting also. So, uh, and, and Jeff, I was going to bring up, and a lot of our viewers may know, that a few years back you were diagnosed with Parkinson's, but also I think it's a testament to you that you continue to, uh, you know, produce in the studio and perform, play and sing, even though you've been diagnosed with this. We cut a song on the last Alabama album, and I sang it, and it was called No Bad Days, and it's sort of become a label, I guess. Mm -hmm. I promote that. I'm just, I'm not having any major troubles. I, I do everything I need to do. Well, I think it's a testament to your talent, too, because I can tell you, growing up over the years, and I'm sure the same with you, Cordy, it's seeing Alabama, and I've seen you live in concert, and, and uh, watching you play guitar, and the way you work a fiddle, and the singing, and it's just, uh, it, it's inspirational. And, and I think also that you coming out and showing your fans, and obviously the country music fans, that you're continuing on to do what you love, even with Parkinson's, and and working with William Shatner on "Why Not Me." It's it's just an incredible thing, Jeff. It is. It's a 
almost bigger than life. Right. Well, and, and don't you think that showing what you are still able to accomplish too is going to help others as they deal I with this? I hope it does. I hope it's some small thing that I might do that might give them the uh, stamina and the uh, drive to keep things as normal as possible. Mm -hmm. Well, and I thought it was also very impressive the way uh, your band with uh, your bandmates with Alabama stood behind you and have been supportive of you the whole time. And also, once again, preparing for the show, you know, you, you have two other bands you work with in your spare time. Besides working out of your studio and producing, you know, working with William Shatner, working with Southern Halo, helping out all this great talent. And, it, and it's so awesome that there in Fort Payne, you're bringing in people and still producing them and helping them get their music out too, Jeff. It's a lot of fun. I, I just try again, enjoy it. No bad days, but bring some more people in this record time. So it's like, are you gonna see at a point now how many different people you can perform on the Opry with? No. Um. <laughs> are we telling the truth? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, I, I can't tell you how many times I've seen you in concert. You know, but, you know, playing the Opry, I think, is always special, Jeff. Yeah, it is. It's uh, quite the institution. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and the work that you've done with William Shatner on this album and, and having heard his other albums and everything in the past, too, it's uh, musically, I mean, and, and the other artists you brought in, and I know that you sang and played on this. Yeah, I did, I did a lot of the vocals on all three parts. Really? And, uh, it, like I say, it was fun. Yeah. I'd do it again. Would you? <laughs> I hope well, he does. I, I heard rumors that there might be a Christmas album coming out with William Shatner. You think he might be involved with that? He's not told me about that. Oh, we'll have to see. And I'm sure we can come up with some songs. I'll, I'll tell you what, Jeff, it, it is amazing how talented you are and all the great music work you've done over the year. And I, I think, you know, words. you know, working with this, with William Shatner, with Why Not Me, uh, shows again that you're able to play outside of the box and not only doing the great stuff you do with Alabama. Well, like I say, I enjoy it. Let's do it. Well, and, and as Corey said, too, I think the album's available through Heartland. Uh, you know, uh, once again, I listened to the whole album. I enjoyed it all. There's so many great tracks on here. And, and I think it's interesting hearing the different context with William Shatner doing it and knowing that you got to write so many of these great songs and be a part of a project like this and see it come out. Huge blessing. <laughs> Just incredible. Yeah. I had, well, to, I had to push rewind quite a bit. <laughs> well, I know it's not bad hearing your songs on the opera either, right? No, I can, I can somehow get over that. Yeah, I, I mean, sure. It's, I mean, you hear your songs <laughs> on great. Netflix and Hallmark Channel, and some of those things may get old, Corey, but you know. This is what it's about for, for a writer, the, the mother church of country music, to hear, hear your totally. song played back. That's, that's cool. Well, once again, be sure and, and get a copy, and, uh, and I'm sure they're going to be doing some touring as well. But it's Why Not Me with William Shatner and Jeff Cook of Alabama, Corey Lee Barker. 50 years. 50 years? For Alabama. 50 years for Alabama. I almost forgot that. And you're still going strong. You know the funniest thing he said this morning on TV? They what? said, uh, 50 years, do you get nervous? He said, what part of the 50 years do you not understand? <laughs> <laughs> Why would I get nervous? <laughs> I don't think you're going to get nervous at it. all anymore, right? I don't think so. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it's a great album, uh, you know, and thanks to the production quality of Jeff Cook mm -hmm. from his studio, Corey Lee Barker, what an incredible job on the songs. Why not me? Pick up a copy, and thanks for watching The Rock Interview.